Dead Hades. Wait, no, that's Revive Phoenix versus Dead Hades. Today I'm gonna do a battle between Revive Phoenix versus Dead Hades. Let's get this battle started. I think I'm gonna make this kind of a shorter video because I have to go to sleep tonight and I'm, I I don't know. I, I just checked my videos and I realized I didn't have a video to upload tomorrow, so I was like, guess I have to record. So yeah, um, I'm doing a video between Revive Phoenix versus Dead Hades just because the new uh, Beyblade that was revealed, the new Beyblade that's gonna come out next month in January is dead Phoenix, so I thought it'd be a cool idea to do like a battle between the two Beyblades that make it up, Revive Phoenix and the Hades. So yeah, let's get this battle started. Let's see which Beyblade is better, which of the brothers is better. I still don't know if they're brothers or not. I mean, I watched the anime, but I watched it in Japanese, so sometimes the things they say doesn't really make sense, but I can kind of assume that they're brothers because their eye colors, like, the thing is, I, I didn't know this was genetic or something, but Phi has like two different colored eyes, and Hearts also has two different colored eyes so like I guess an anime genetic I, I don't know how that works but yeah anyway let's get this battle started let's see who's gonna win I have my bets on I think uh dead hate I like dead Hades so much better than revive phoenix but I feel like revive phoenix is just gonna win because revive phoenix is just an OP beyblade ready three two one go Shoot. there's the defense type beyblade three two one go Shoot. there is the balance type beyblade all right let's see who's gonna win I feel like I actually already did this battle I feel like I already recorded a video between Revive Phoenix and Dead Hades. God, did I already record this video? Whatever, if I already recorded this video, this is the second video of the, the same subject. Whatever. Anyway, uh, Dead Hades did seem to win that battle. Surprisingly, maybe Dead Hades is better than Revive Phoenix. That was actually kind of surprising. Am I the only one that thinks Revive Phoenix should be, like, a balance type? Like, not a defense type. Like, I understand why it's a defense type. It's a defense type because, like, the ring popping off, that's, like, kind of a defense mechanism. And, like, the ball tip, that's, like, a normal normal defense type stuff, but it doesn't look like a defense type. It doesn't, it just doesn't. It looks like a balance type. Like when I see this Beyblade, I just think balance. Maybe that's because most balance types are red and most defense types are green. And this Beyblade, I, I don't see any green on it. So like, I just, I just don't associate with, um, uh, defense types. Now, as for, uh, Dead Hades, I can see Dead Hades being, like, balance type, but for the most part, I don't know what it is about Dead Hades either. I feel like it's more attack type. Maybe it's because it looks a lot like, uh, death sight there, alright? Let's keep on going. The ring fell off of the stupid Beyblade. I hate that about Dead Hades. Like, well, not, not Dead Hades, uh, Revive Phoenix. Whenever you put on the launcher, if you, like, hold on to, like, the layer itself and twist it, like, the outer ring, it'll just fall off. And, like, whenever I have Jake over and we do Beyblade battles, he always like does that and it gets it's like it's so triggering because he's just we're just there fidgeting with like the Beyblades for like 10 minutes and it's like oh my gosh why why could Takira Tomi just make a good product I'm just joking I love Takira Tomi Beyblades Takira Tomi makes the best Beyblades around not throwing shit at Hasbro but toy throwing shit at Hasbro what did you Hasbro what did you do to those like turbo Beyblades like come on I was so hyped for those turbo bays and you gave us like the turbo trash on Honestly, I actually don't mind. There's a lot of people that are really like against Hasbro's like uh, turbo line or whatever. Like I think Boltums, Boltums just really doesn't like it. I've seen like a bunch of Boltums videos where he's just like trashing on Hasbro. I I don't dislike uh, turbo that much. I just think it's just like kind of disappointing. All right. Like I'm not mad at Hasbro for doing it because like I kind of expected it, but it's just disappointing. It was like you went from the God series. You did so well, uh, Hasbro for the God series. You started giving like all the original colors to every single Beyblade. You started giving like all the parts to every single Beyblade in the God series. I don't think there was like one Beyblade that didn't come with its normal stock parts, but when you made the Chosy series or the Turbo series, you totally messed up. Like, What's that about? All right, ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah, I mean, like, I, again, not like super mad at Hasbro because Hasbro can do whatever they want. I'm gonna buy the Terry Tommy products anyway, but I do feel bad for any like kid who like their parents won't let their uh, children like buy Beyblades online and they can only, or maybe they can only afford the Hasbro stuff. Like that's so sad. Like your friend comes over with their authentic Takara Tomy Revive Phoenix. Look how much metal is on this bay. And then you come over with your Wonder Valkyrie with no metal at all. And it just gets destroyed. Oh my goodness. That'd be horrible. I hope Hasbro uh, in the future, like maybe just like a re-release of the Beyblade Turbo lineup and like adds metal to them. That'd be kind of cool. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Three, two, 
one. But, dude, but the thing I do like about Hasbro is I- Oh my goodness, dead Hades is a monster. All right, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the thing I do like about Hasbro is I do like the Hasbro names somewhat better than the Takira Tomy ones. Like there's some time, there's some of them that I'm like, yeah, Takira Tomy definitely named it better than Hasbro. Like, let me think of uh, something where Takira Tomy did a better name than Hasbro. Um, there's a lot of them. Uh, but I can't, I, I don't know, I can't think of one on the top of my head, but I remember, like, seeing, like, a bunch of, like, Hasbro names, I'm just, like, oh my gosh, that's so stupid, but, like, so, some of the Hasbro names are actually really cool, like, I definitely, like, wonder Valkyrie more than Winning Valkyrie, like, Winning Valkyrie, that's just a bad name, like, <laughs> when I remember when Winning Valkyrie's name was revealed, we were, like, seriously, you named a Beyblade Winning Valkyrie, that's so lame, but, like, Hasbro, they fixed that, they made it, like, uh, Wonder Valkyrie and like Genesis Valkyrie that's like so much better than like God Valkyrie in my opinion like Genesis Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Genesis Valkyrie, Wonder Valkyrie, Hasbro does a really good job at naming um the uh the um Whatchamacallit, the Valkyrie line or renaming it. I think for the Spriggan line, I think they usually just keep the Spriggan names. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, Storm Sprig- Or, uh, of course, it's Storm Sprison. So, I'm pretty sure it's, like, Storm Sprison, Legend Sprison, Sprison Requiem. And when the Cho'Z Day comes out, I'm sure they'll just call it, like, Turbo Sprison or something. Turbo Sprison, guys! Alright. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let's keep on going with the battle. Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one. Go. All right, let's go. Also, we are almost at a hundred K, guys. Thank you so much. It's so crazy. Like, I don't even sound that hype for because I'm in like so disbelief. I'm like, no, wait, we're not at a hundred K. We're like so far from a hundred K. It's so weird. It's just like I just can't see myself having a hundred K subscribers. So I'm always in denial. I'm like, no, no, we're not. We're not even close to that number yet. But we're we're actually like in reality, we're so close. We only have like ten K subscribers left. I have no idea why people even subscribe to this channel, honestly. It's horrible. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. There's like so many better channels to subscribe to. Like, let's see, you got Draco. Actually, everyone subscribe to Draco Galaxy. I was just about to say, like, I was just about to say, like, well, you should subscribe to Draco Galaxy, but like, everyone subscribes to Draco Galaxy. Chances are you're already subscribed to Draco Galaxy, and if you're not subscribed to Draco Galaxy, like, what are you doing, man? Come on, everyone's doing it. You might as well do it, too. And like, Illina He's pretty cool. Although Illinux like kind of tr uh, switching to Bakugan stuff, and I'm just like, no, stick to Beyblade. I hate Bakugans. Actually, I don't hate Bakugans. I might actually buy some of the new Bakugans. But the thing is about Bakugans is they're nothing like Beyblade. Like I remember, I bought Beyblades to battle with my friends. But I remember as a kid. I mean, of course, as a kid, I definitely loved Bakugans. It was like the big three. It was like Beyblades, Bakugan, Pokemon. Those were the big things that like everyone was into at the time when I was a kid. So yeah, of course I was super into Bakugans, but unlike a uh, Beyblade where I like bought them to battle my friends and stuff, for Bakugans, they were more of like a collection thing. Like I never really learned how to battle them. It's kind of like Pokemon cards. Oh my goodness, I think uh, Dead Hades won that. But like, yeah, it's kind of like Pokemon cards. Where like most of the kids who played with them, they didn't really know how to play the game. They just bought them because it was like, oh, it's a Charizard on a card. That's so cool. It probably cost so much money. That was the thing for Bakugans, I think. Because Bakugans, it was a really cool concept. It was like uh, a ball and you put it on a magnet and it transforms into a monster. Like that is, like when you actually think about it, that's just so, it is so cool. Like I remember my, fridge there'd just be a bunch of bakugans on it like it'd just be lined with bakugans i'd be like so proud i'd be like yeah that's my that's my dragonoid on the fridge right there it's like it's like super cool three two one go three two one go Shoot. so yeah i feel like i bought bakugans more because they were like really cool collectibles and plus in the anime right, i'm not gonna lie the anime was kind of trash for bakugan i mean the anime was kind of trash for Beyblade too <laughs> not gonna lie i'm sorry for any metal fight fans the english dub just ruined it for me as a kid as a kid i really liked it but i remember one day um i tried to just sit down and watch like the whole entire beyblade series and i just couldn't jenga's voice is so annoying it's more annoying than my voice and i didn't even think that was 
is possible, but apparently it is. And like everyone's voice is so bad. Like the voice acting in that series, it is horrendous. Burst did like so much better of a job than Metal Fight. Oh my goodness. I, if I were to rewatch Metal Fight or like watch the whole series of Metal Fight, I'd probably have to watch it in like Japanese subtitles, all right? Ready, three, two, one, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. All right, there's the two day blitz. How long is this video? Oh my God, we're, we're already on 10 minutes. That's crazy. I don't even remember what's happening in the battles. I'm just having these like crazy weird side conversations. Anyway, uh, from what I've noticed throughout the battles, it seems like Dead Hades is uh, able to win most of the battles and Revive Phoenix is able to pull off some lucky victories. So yeah, let's just do one more battle between them and see who wins. Um, I guess I'll do winner takes all. Ready? Uh, wait, I put Revive Phoenix's ring wrong. All right, ready? Three. Three, two, one, go. Five Phoenix. Three, two, one, go. Dead Hades. All right, let's see who's gonna win this battle. Look at Dead Hades. Oh my goodness, these Dayblades. They're both like really good looking. I know I said I like Dead Hades a lot more than Revive Re Re Phoenix, and I do. But like Revive Phoenix is super cool. It's. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's disappointing, but like in the Metal Fight series, we had. Oh, Revive Phoenix did win. Wow. All right. Maybe because I wasn't paying attention to the battle, maybe Revive Phoenix has been winning most of the battles. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Maybe those are fluke. I'm gonna try uh, one more battle between them. But what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, Revive Phoenix is just kind of disappointing. It's a really cool Beyblade. It's don't don't get me wrong. Revive Phoenix is a really cool Beyblade. I just think it's kind of disappointing because I remember when Burn a uh, Fire Blaze or Burn Phoenix. <laughs> why did why did Hasbro name it Fire Blaze? That's so stupid. That what is the Fire Blaze? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. All right, all right. So maybe Revive Phoenix is better or like wins the matchup between Dead Hades. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Why did Hasbro name Phoenix Fire Blaze? I'll, I'll never know. That's such a stupid name. They're like, this is a phoenix. Why why couldn't they just call it phoenix? It's not like phoenix is copyright or copywriter or whatever. They could have just called it phoenix and they'd be fine. But they were like, no, let's be stupid. Let's call this Beyblade fire blaze. What is a fire blaze? A blaze, like, blaze is like a thing of fire. So why do you have to say fire? It's so stupid, all right? Anyway, um, burnt fire blaze was amazing. So I'm kind of disappointed that, um... Revive Phoenix is not as amazing, debatable. I mean, I, I just like Burn Fire Blaze better. Maybe it's because it's nostalgic. That's all I needed to say. Let's end this video before I go on to another side conversation. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, or you don't have to rate, comment, or subscribe. I really don't care. <laughs> See you guys later. Have a nice day. Let's get to like 100K in like the next year. That'd be great. Yeah, next year we'll get 100k. That I mean, honestly, if I were to just get one subscriber for like the next year, just one subscriber, maybe like one subscriber a day, I would be satisfied. I'd be so satisfied with that. Like we already have so many subscribers. I don't really need more. So don't subscribe if you don't want to. So yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day. I'm gonna end the video off before I talk some more. Bye bye.